Okay, guys, so here I am after a culmination of three days at the uh, Gulf of Town Center. So maybe I can set you up. Uh, we go back you know, a long time. Uh, my teeth were really bad. Really, really bad. And I guess it was a combination of different things, uh, genetics, poor maintenance, poor choices, poor diet, and all that. Nonetheless, this probably went on for years. And so I uh, actually went and saw a dentist with my youngest daughter, who uh, actually spoke straight with me about my situation. She called it uh, early stages pre-dental disease. But what struck me was she told me that things were going to get exponentially worse. And she asked me if I knew what that meant. And of course, yes, I did. Things was going to be rapidly decreasing, rapidly uh, getting worse and worse, which they did. It's pretty scary how fast it went. Crookedness of the teeth, decaying. The other thing that struck me to the heart from her was that all this was, if not taken care of, could lead to uh, heart disease, liver disease, gum cancers, different things. And here I am with my uh, my daughter hearing this, so it had a profound effect on me. She gave me a, a referral to a specialist in the Baton Rouge area, where I'm living currently, and I uh, went and seen him, and we talked about different uh, options available, right? Partial bridges, uh, gentures. His last statement was uh, implants, which is the first I've heard that even be impossible. Uh, the price was considerably much higher than what I experienced here. He also spoke about the uh, the pain I would be in and the uh, the number of visits, bone grafts, and whatnot. So, you know, I, I took that information home with me and kind of sat on that and just kind of got on the internet and started looking at other options. Uh, I knew that Clear Choice Dental was out there. Kind of read some reviews, it was kind of spotty, right? Some people were very well satisfied, others weren't to different degrees, right? So I kept looking around locally. Then somehow I just fell on Dr. Gopher's website and uh, couldn't believe what I saw, couldn't believe what I read. Read the whole thing, actually probably, I was probably at the site for hours, right? Reading everything I could read, front to back, and then when I finished, I had to go back to make sure I didn't forget anything. And this went on for days. And then, you know, it hit me. This could be done. This, this seems true. So, you know, made some phone calls and uh, set it all up. Best thing I ever done. You know, psychologically, it, it's a new day. It's a new day. We talked to you, Carlos, and everybody else here about the transformation. Physically, it's one thing, right? It's great day. To have a great smile, right? But I think psychologically, it, it, it's a new day, right? All the social settings you're in, family, friends, neighbors, whatever it is, you're not really your true self if you can't open your mind up and smile, you know? So you're not 100% true. Then I started thinking and reflecting upon the, uh, the professional settings that you get in with clients or with peers, right, colleagues, maybe bosses. Believe me, you're not being yourself if you can't open up your mouth and identify yourself as this. My teeth were so bad, I covered up everything. Everything was like a, a, a ruse. I was aware of how bad my teeth were. So therefore, my whole body language was different. I can't imagine. I can't imagine how, you know, even being around my wife, the most intimate person in my life, I wasn't the real me, because I couldn't be. And I think that's a, that's a shame if people were in that situation like I was. So here's a solution, right? Here's a solution. This is something you can do. Psych psychologically, I can't wait. It's like a new life. Very, uh, very profound. I, uh, 
I looked in the mirror when it was first put in, and it struck me how much I looked like my father, which is very emotional. I miss him dearly. And when I looked in the mirror, that's who I saw. I saw my father. So the whole experience has been great. Uh, also want to mention, I've watched a lot of these videos, and people spoke of the no pain. I don't know many extractions he did yesterday, Carlos, is probably mid-20s, right. you know. Definitely. My teeth were bad, but I had a lot of bad teeth, right? right. I had a full set of bad teeth. Right. So, uh, man, I went to sleep. I woke up. It was like it never happened. Wow. No swelling. I didn't take no aspirin, no pain medicine, no discomfort, you know. Ate some soup. That was an adventure, you know, <laughs> trying to do that. But it went down. Woke up this morning. Same thing. No pain, no swelling. Amazing. Couldn't believe it. Coming here, they popped the bridges in. Now I'm done. So I think I'll go dance tonight away.